Let's take a look at animal legs, or in other words, quadruped legs for legged animals. So what we can do is we'll bring in an example to work with. Let's go ahead and work with the cat. Okay, so this joint's a little bit smaller. As we're just looking at the leg for now, let's look at the back leg and delete the rest of the creature. Also, this cat comes with a full set of toes, which is not needed. So we'll just delete that to keep things more simple. And also, as we're only going to need one side to be looking at this. So take the attribute called no mirror and add that. And that means that when we hit build advanced skeleton, it's only going to build a leg and only on one side. Okay, so we can now see that we have this zigzag chain. This first bone is going to be equivalent to a human's upper leg and the second one to its lower leg. And this is going to essentially be the ankle up in the air. And we can see that we do get this additional control that lets us place this ankle with a pivot on the ground. To make this clear, I'll turn this toe aim off to begin with and jump over to the side view. And as we move this, we can see that we're just getting rotations happening on the first two bones here and not on this very last bone. And that's because I set the toe aims to zero, just to illustrate the function of the quadruped leg. Let's now turn that toe aim attribute back to 10. And you can see that this last bone here is now part of the IK behavior. And the way it moves, it's essentially aiming back up to the top. So that instead of manually needing to move the IK and then rotate this guy to get a nice distribution of the rotation, it will automatically rotate this. And the amount it automatically rotates is set by toe aim. And it's saying how much of this to aim back up the chain. Okay, so. If we go back and look at the fit skeleton, you can see that the way the labeling works, it's using the label foot, just the same as in a human IK, it's labeling the foot at the ankle. It's the same here, the foot label is going to be at the ankle, but it has the additional Q toes IK label, which we can find here in the list of IK label, Q toes. And in addition, you can see we added the word back to the labels here. So not only is it labeled with hip, foot, and cutose, but it's actually hip, back, foot, back, and cutose, back. And that's because when we have the full creature, there's also going to be a set of legs at the front. And they're going to be the hip front, foot front, and cutose front. And that will make sure that the IK systems are uniquely labeled between the front and back. So the front foot is going to be fairly similar IK wise to the back foot, but there's another additional label here in the front. We're also using the leg aim. And that means that there's an IK system that's happening above the standard IK. And that is the scapula is set to aim and it's going to aim right down at the target. So let's go ahead and build that to see the behavior. And let's use some poly boxes as well. And we'll start off by turning off toes aim and leg aim. And we'll see if moving this IK is in the central of it all. It's an IK between these two bones. Then in addition, we can turn on toes aim, which is the one we looked at before. It's going to add some IK behavior to this last bit as that will be now aiming back up. And on top of that, we're going to have leg aim, which is the system on top. So we will have that scapula aiming down to the end of the IK. So turning leg aim and as well, you now see we get all the four bones reacting to the IK motion. And as usual, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.